Hey everybody, this is Mike from Otto's Watches. Today we are going to start working on the Timex Project watch. <laughs> when I was unboxing it, if you saw the other video, dirt was just coming off of it like crazy just by taking it out of the box and moving it around. This bracelet was loosely attached and uh, came apart immediately upon opening. I bet if I just flex out this bracelet, some of the things are gonna wind up on the towel down there. My work is cut out for me, but I'm hoping to really learn a lot about this watch um, and working on watches cosmetically. Today we're just going to focus on the cleaning of the watch, getting as much of the previous owner's DNA. It looks like this watch has been really beat up or loved. We're just going to get it to a place where it's back down to metal and plastic and gaskets and all that stuff. We're going to remove the bracelet and try and clean that and see how we do. Before we get started, wristwatch check. Uh, today I am wearing the Belova Lunar Pilot on a Barton Elite band. I find this to be a really great combination. Uh, today I did some running around with the family. I decided to wear a more modern watch today because it was raining and I don't want to subject any of my vintage watches to any potential problems. So a more modern watch today for the rain and we're gonna keep this on while we do some of the cleaning of the project watch. A little bit of a four video, get it in macro here, show you what we're dealing with. There's a lot of dirt and grime, and this crystal has definitely seen much better days. This looked like, it looks like a daily wearer for at least one of the previous owners. It was well loved, as my daughter likes to put it. We are going to try and remove a lot of that gunk. Maybe we'll be able to do something about the crystal. We may try to polish this out. I think a lot of this will, but some of these scratches look like they're pretty deep and I might not be successful in getting this to be nice and crystal clear. We're gonna do the best we can, but I did order a tool today to try and change out the crystal so we can put something brand new in there and get a better look at the dial once this is all done. This is what we're looking at and what we're working with. Very cloudy, very scratched up. Looks like it's definitely seen a very active life. We're gonna start by taking off the bracelet. I've been working with spring bar tools a whole lot more and I seem to be really good at holding the case wrong. There's generally a little bit of a blood sacrifice. Try and get in here and take off this bracelet. There we go, oh, I got it, first try. Well, that was probably seventh or eighth try. Now let's try the broken part. I wonder how much dirt is coming off of this while I'm just trying to get this other part of the bracelet off. As far as the bracelet goes, we're gonna see what we can do to try and put this back together. We're gonna try and save it and at least wash it, but my plan really is to put this on a different strap. It did take a little longer to get this spring bar off than I thought. We'll take a look at this a little bit later and uh, see what we can do. This is the watch, the Timex off of its bracelet and uh, there's a lot of work to do here. I'm an amateur and this is a $20 purchase from eBay so it gives me a chance to work on something without losing thousands of dollars or incredibly depreciating the value of something that's very valuable. We'll get to cleaning. We'll probably start with the bracelet here. Put this over here. We'll bring in warm soapy water and our Caterpillar toothbrush. All right. very soft bristle. I do realize we're gonna have to flex this out and uh, get between the little crevices and the joints, but uh, I feel like I'll be a little less likely to get some sort of infection if I get poked somehow and wind up bleeding. Because again, I'm an amateur and I uh, am quite good at finding unplanned ways to bleed. 
like I was talking about before with the spin bar tool, almost always seeming to require a blood sacrifice. Lately, anyway, I'm sure I'll get better at all of that. My wife's grandfather had a watch. I think it was also a Timex. I'm not sure how old it was. But that also was on a flex bracelet. And they said these things were really comfortable. I uh, remember trying these when I was a kid and never really liked them very much. So I think that's about as good as we're gonna get this for now. I'm gonna give it a rinse. How does that look? That already looks pretty good. So let's give it a, a dab. We're just cleaning this up in case we're going to be able to use it or restore it or put it back together. But we're probably going to wind up putting this watch on a leather strap. So a quick little observation. Uh, we did apparently get a fair amount of dirt off of that watch. This water is fairly discolored. So that's just from the band. Uh, I do think that actually looks pretty good. I took it over to the window and got a really good look at it. And it looks like even on the side that touches the wearer's skin, things are looking pretty good. Get in here on a macro level and take a good look. It looks like the toothbrush got quite a bit. Considering how much dirt is in that container, this is pretty good. I feel pretty safe working with this and trying to figure out how to put this back together. And for all I know, it might actually be pretty easy to do that. So I just cleaned up this end link with the toothbrush and some soapy water. And even this looks pretty good. Okay, we got some fresh soapy water. Okay, we're gonna try and be very careful and try and stay away from the gap between the case and the acrylic crystal. We really wanna get into the, between the lugs because between the lugs is pretty darn dirty. And we want to get as much of that off as we can. Now we're going to try to use soapy water a little bit and angle it down. That does look quite different. And what is that on the case? Okay, that is still dirt. Very light touch. <clears throat> Just want to get in there and get all the dirt out of the crevices, but also have this facing down. So gravity will help us try and keep anything out of the inside of the case. Now that looks a lot nicer. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side. Wiping. Seeing what we have. Looks like we have more dirt here. And that did come off. Oh. 
Now that actually looks pretty good. Try to get as much water out of the brush as possible. A little bit of trial and error, but uh, you know the underside of this case is already looking pretty good. But the underside is feeling a little less grimy than it did when I took it out of the box. I'll try to do the same thing with the soapy water on the top here. Looks like it's cleaning up pretty nicely. I'll try and get the other half. And a solid wipe down. So how's that looking? We'll try to get around these edges because it looked like there was a lot of dirt. Maybe I'll try a toothpick. Just you can see in here, there's still some dirt buildup between the crystal and the case. So we're gonna try and just kinda That's looking pretty nice. I think we're in an okay spot. Looks like we've gotten a few years or decades of dirt out of these cracks and crevices. We have one more step in the case cleaning process. And uh, for that, we have to see you back over at the desk. Here's a little bit of IPA. That's probably more than enough. I'm going to do a similar process with Mr. Caterpillar. Right Trying to get in all these nooks and crannies. Let's see. Give this a wipe. So we'll take a look at that edge now. Looks like we got in there pretty good. It's actually really cool. You can see the little minute markers that look like little ghosts from Pac-Man. I can't see them very too clearly, but uh, the next step here is gonna be to polish the crystal and see how much better clarity and visibility we can get. But it does look like we got pretty much all of the dirt, which is really nice to see. It's a good starting point. So real quick, after I was finished with the second external cleaning of the case, I decided to see if I could pop the back off this watch and take a look at the movement just to see what we're dealing with. And uh, that is a gigantic rotor. You can hear it turning and winding. It does appear to be a bi-directional rotor, which is good. That is all rotor. It looks like that movement is very tiny, very basic. But uh, it's really cool to look in here and actually see that it's actually about as clean in here as it is on the outside, probably for the first time in a very long time.
Okay, so we're gonna uh, try to attack this crystal now with a little bit of polywatch. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We're going to macro one more time just to quick give you a, a sense of uh, what things look like before. And uh, we'll probably have to do a couple passes of this just to see if we can get a little more clarity. Here we are in macro. Let's see what we can do. We'll start with that. I really only know this from the car detailing world. I guess you're supposed to like put it on there and then spread out the product and then give it a, a whirl. This is after one pass with the poly watch. Looks like there's a little bit more clarity in there. So I'll probably need to speed up the video on this one just so you're not bored out of your minds while I'm relentlessly scrubbing the surface of this crystal to see how good we can get it. How's that looking? I think we are on our way. I'll be back in a little bit when I'm satisfied with uh, about as far as we're going to be able to get with this crystal. So as you can see, that is a lot better. You can still tell. You can absolutely tell I did not change the crystal. But the poly watch did make this crystal much clearer. All right, so next up, we're probably, I, because my OCD is probably going to get the best of me, I'm going to give it one or two more passes on the crystal, and then we'll move on to polishing the case, and I think we'll work on brushing the case, uh, possibly for the next video. All right, that'll do it for today's video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button for the third and final installment of this series, as well as future content coming out on the channel. Thanks for watching Otto's Watches.